Game of Thrones is undeniably the biggest show on television and the most nominated primetime scripted series in Emmy's history. Its heralded international ensemble cast has created movie stars like Amelia Clark and Jason Momoa, but there's also a list of actors who missed out on the show as deep as the White Walker's army. When you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. Outlanders breakout Sam Hewen tried out for Game of Thrones seven different times including for Loras Tyrell, Renly Baratheon, and several members of the Night's Watch. He said he was, quote, always close. Do you want me? Meanwhile, The Hunger Games' Sam Claflin also auditioned for multiple roles, including Jon Snow and Viserys Targaryen. Have a good day. Dominic West, best known for HBO's The Wire and Showtime's The Affair, has said he was offered the role of Wildling King Mance Raider, but he chose time with his family over six months of filming in Iceland, where scenes beyond the wall are shot. The freedom to make my own mistakes was all I ever wanted. The X-Files Gillian Anderson, Succession's Brian Cox, and Black Sales' Ray Stevenson all also have said they turned down roles on Game of Thrones. And while none have been specific of which roles, the rumors say Anderson was offered the Cersei Lannister part, played by Lena Headey. If you ever call me sister again, I'll have you strangled in your sleep. The Crown and Mad Men star Jared Harris has probably gone a little mad himself auditioning for HBO, as he lost the role of Thrones High Sparrow to Jonathan Price, as well as Westworld's Robert Ford to Anthony Hopkins. Did you really think I would let you take it from me? Another acclaimed actor, Mahershala Ali of Moonlight and House of Cards, was also rejected by Game of Thrones casting directors. Before season two, he auditioned for Zaro Zohan Doxos, eventually played by Nunzo Anozi, but has described it as, quote, one of the worst auditions of my life. I can almost always tell what a man wants. Die Hard Thrones fans are well aware that the initial pilot for the show was not well received at HBO, and producers were forced to reshoot 90% of the episode. Along with that came losing some of the original cast. Most famously, the Tudor star Tamsin Merchant was the original Daenerys, but was replaced by Amelia Clark in the second pilot. My reign has just begun. In Pride and Prejudice's Jennifer Ely played Catelyn Stark in the original pilot, but left after filming to be with her newborn and was replaced by Michelle Fairley. Several other actors have revealed they were in the running for Game of Thrones roles. Never Let Me Go's Izzy Meikle Small said she was second to Sophie Turner to play Sansa Stark. Battlestar Galactica's Trisha Helfer auditioned for Cersei. And Lord Varys himself, Conleth Hill, originally read for King Robert Baratheon. Because I choose you. Interestingly, Eugene Simon first auditioned for Joffrey Baratheon before later landing Lancel Lannister. And Ewan Rayon first auditioned for Jon Snow, but was eventually perfectly cast as the despicable torturer Ramsay Bolton. If you think this has a happy ending, you haven't been paying attention. That's a lot of what ifs, but if there was ever a show to trust with casting, it would be Game of Thrones. I drink and I know things.